In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create this double exposure effect using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey what's up guys, Dhruval here and as you can see this is the final output and for this effect I will be using these images that I found on deviantart.com and if you want to use them the download link is in video description so feel free to use it. So first of all let's go to file and open the image that we want so I'm gonna select it and open it. Now I only want this image so I'm gonna go and select my crop tool and make sure that my delete pixel is turned on. Then go and let's uh, remove it from here and that's perfect. Go and confirm it. That looks good and now we need to remove the background. So for that don't even bother with your regular quick selection tool. Not gonna work. So for this time I'm gonna select magnetic lasso tool. So select it and zoom it a little bit. Uh, then go and start selecting it. Uh, don't rush it. Take your time. And if you make a mistake something like this you can simply use your backspace key and boom that's gone and to end selection just simply double click and your selection will be ready so let's zoom out and see uh, once your rough selection is done uh, you have to make sure that you still have selected your magnetic tool and then go and click on this refine edge option so it will pop up this box uh, and you can you know, use black color as background for best output. After that, uh, I'm gonna press Ctrl plus to zoom in a little bit and then make sure you have selected your brush tool and simply paint around the hair. Don't worry about the bottom part, we are not going to use it. Uh, just focus on hair and basic outline. So hair looks good enough, then go and simply hit OK. Let's zoom out a little bit. After that, once you are happy with your selection, go and click on this little layer mask icon so it will remove the background. And now we need to make the canvas bigger. So this time again select your crop tool from here and make sure this delete crop pixel is turned off. Then go and stretch it a little bit and yeah I think that looks pretty good and a little bit down from here and go and confirm it. Then go and select your move tool from here and move the image uh, something like this. I don't want this uh, arm uh, and dress so I'm gonna only use this like this. Then go and press ctrl T. Hold your shift key and make it bigger so it covers the canvas properly and then again adjust it then keep doing it. I think this looks good enough so go and confirm it. Now to create your background go and click on the second last icon to create a blank layer and put this blank layer under your model. Then go and select your paint bucket tool right click and paint bucket and in the color make sure it's white and fill it. Background is ready easy. Then reactivate your model layer from here uh, then go to your adjustment option and select hue and saturation. Here make sure your clipping mask option is on so it will only affect the model. So turn down lightness to minus 100 uh, then go and close it. After that make sure that you have selected your mask here. Uh, then select your brush tool from here and in the color make sure it is completely black and your opacity is 100%. Then right click and make sure hardness is 0%. Uh, and make your brush bigger. To make it bigger use your bracket keys so you can see it live. Uh, so I think that is big enough. Then go and do a couple of clicks here and there uh, like this. Uh, yep. Looking much better. Now I actually want my model to be black and white so I'm gonna go and activate the model layer as you can see here. Not the mask but the model. Then go to image adjustment and then go and desaturate so the model is black and white. Now we can finally add the railway track image uh, so for that activate your hue saturation layer here then go to file go to place and select your railway track image that you downloaded and place it. Now as you can see it's really tiny so hold your shift key and make it bigger uh, pretty big uh, so that it covers entire canvas uh, so this looks pretty good uh, hit ok after that right click on your image and select create clipping mask so it will only show up in the place where model is 
but I want to reveal a little bit face of model so for that uh, make sure you selected the track image then go and apply a layer mask then go to your brush tool make sure it's black color and 100% opacity right click and hardness is 0% then do a couple of click here where you want to show the face a little bit uh, so I think that looks nice and also a bit here near shoulder and a tiny bit here it looks pretty good uh, so that's nice and a bit here maybe that's too much so if you want to remove something you can paint with white color so yeah that looks pretty nice and if you think the darkness is too much as you can see the hue saturation layer uh, you can always go and reduce the opacity to blend it better so I think that looks pretty nice And now we can create the background so creating the background is super easy make sure you have selected your railway track image and then go and press ctrl j so as you can see it looks pretty messed up at the moment but don't worry so select layer mask on the duplicate image here the layer mask here and then press shift backspace and here in the contents make sure you have selected 50 percent gray and hit ok See now it looks much better but it's too strong so go to your opacity here and make it somewhere around like 50-60% and see it looks much better. So as you can see it's looking pretty good and we can do some color correction so for that go to your adjustment layer and select curves and in the curves uh, do a click on this box here uh, and then lift up it a little bit from here. So the shadows are a little bit flat, uh, so that looks pretty nice. Then go and go to your blue channel and lift this a little bit up from here. Don't do it too much, uh, just a little uh, and a little bit yellowish tone from here and close it. So that's it and here is your final effect. So that's it for this video and I really hope that you guys learned something from this and if you did hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions feel free to ask me in comment section below. If you wanna check out more double exposure tutorials you can click the box on the left or if you wanna check out something new you can click the box on the right and you can also subscribe to my channel so every time I upload a new video you will get the update. Till then goodbye, take care and have some fun with photoshop.